Hi guys, Nikki here for Library Labsters. We are doing a fort story time. So I got lucky and I found this really big box that I could just kind of drape something over and I've got little clips on it to kind of hold my little roof on top there. And of course I have my favorite stuffed animals. I don't know if you can tell what my favorite animal is. Might possibly be a little koala bear. Koala, not a bear. But yeah, I use this box, my kids and I, to paint our pumpkins. So that's all the uh, mess you see going on back there. All right, well, we'll be going in here in just a sec. Hi guys, I'm back here and we're inside our little fort. I don't think I wanna come out of here ever. This is pretty cozy. <laughs> I also wanted to tell you guys before I read my book, um, I did create this little bonfire craft and you just, I'll be sending this home. It'll probably come out uh, right before you see this. So you guys can build that and have it all ready, okay? We've got a little tea light there to kind of show, you know. These are all fake, by the way. All these little guys, you just turn them on. So much, much safer. All right, so obviously I love koala bears. So I picked this book, The Koala Who Could is by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. I think it's gonna be very cute, very bright colors. And a wonderful place where the day was just dawning and the breezes blew soft on a warm golden morning. And a place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala called Kevin clung to a tree. A nicer gray fellow you never would meet as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. And after all this, well, he'd need a nice rest. Yes, Kevin liked sticking to what he knew best. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move or to change. So he clung to his tree as he knew what to do and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey, Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Um, I think he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry. I can't. Why not, cried the ruse with a super loud cheer. Yes, why, called the dingoes. There's nothing to fear. But Kevin, who'd never been one to act fast, said I've clinging to do, but it's nice that you asked. Sorry, these pages really don't want to work with me today. <laughs> Oops. All right, as Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join in down there. But he knew he'd miss home. It was dark and so late. The whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin. Ooh, tricky. Just couldn't let go. Look at that cute sad face. So his life was the same no matter the day. The weeks came and went and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. Oh no, tap, tap, the sound went. Well, this was a blow, tap, 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 oh no. Wonder what, what is that? Is that a woodpecker? I think it is. Uncling, the crowd called, which had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you, just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go. No, I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin. Oh, dear. I just... Ooh. Oh, no. Can't. Woof. Down came the tree, and with it was bringing, crashing a wallop, but Kevin was still clinging. Look at all his stuff. Kevin, he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love, staring down from the sky. Then one paw, then one paw by one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt springy and light and happy and bold. The worst he could think of had now come to pass, and he was just fine while he felt quite first class. So when Wombat leaned over and held his paw out, Kevin no longer felt worry or doubt. 
When Dingo asked, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a, what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. Because life can be great when you try something new. See how happy he is? All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this book. I obviously think it was really, really cute because, you know, koala bear, koala, not bear. All right, thanks again, and we'll see you next time.